Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you find these videos helpful, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover strength of materials in 6. The topic of this tutorial is transformation of stress. Question 1. The question is included in the video. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I am going to show you as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer questions could cost you marks even though your method and answer might be right. See the cautionary note at the beginning of the video. On a side note, watch until the end of the video. If you watch the first five minutes, you will not gain a full understanding of what you need to do. There is no quick fix in strength of materials. It takes persistence, discipline and repetition. You have to use these steps in order to succeed. Let's get straight into it. Our question goes, in the figure which I'm about to draw, shows a point in a material subjected to a compressive stress of 70 megapascals, a tensile stress of 40 megapascals, a shear, shear stresses of 20 megapascals are acting on these planes. Now what they need us to do is calculate the normal stresses acting in the element if it is rotated 30 degrees clockwise with respect to the original element. Okay, so what, basic, what we have basically is this. Right, we have this. This is the drawing. Now we have this, we have this, and we have this, and we have that. Okay, turning the element clockwise means that 30 degrees is negative. So we're turning it this way. So that will obviously be a negative 30, so then we will use the element that we will use is 60 degrees. So, let's draw, let's put our values. So we have a compressive stress. That's a compressive stress of 70 times 10 to the 6. We have a tensile stress, tensile stress of 14 times 10 to the 6. A shear stress of 20 times 10 to the 6, all acting on the planes. So, this is 20, this one's 70, and this one up here is 40. So now you know where all your stresses are going. So, what we need to do now is calculate. Turning the element clockwise means that the 30 degrees is negative. So, we always use the shear stress value that is on the y plane. So, what we will do is say stress x equals stress x to the power equals stress x plus stress y over 2 plus stress x minus stress y over 2 cos 20 no, cos, cos 2 theta plus shear stress x, y sine theta sine 2 
marks on two theta. Okay, so what we need to do now is put in our values. So what our values are going to be is minus 70, because it's going this way, plus 40, because that's going up, divided by 2, plus minus 17, minus 40, over 2, cos minus 60, plus 20, minus 20, sine minus sine times minus 60. Okay, now that we have all that, put this all in your calculator, and you will get minus 25,18 mega pascals. Okay, that's not the end of the sum. We've got quite a bit to go. This is the stress of x1. Minus 25,18 times 10 to the 6. Right, now we need to calculate the stresses on the y plane. So, stress y1 equals minus 15. Minus, minus, 27,5, minus 17,3, 2. Equals, so, y1. That y1 equals minus 4, comma, 8, 2 mega pascals. Now we do the shear stress. The shear stress of x and y is very simple. What we do is we take our shear stress shear stress of x and y shear stress tau x y equals minus bracket stress x minus stress y all over 2 sine 2 theta plus tau xy cos 2 theta yeah. so all this is going to be tau xy equals minus minus 70 minus 40 over 2 sine minus 60 minus 20 cos minus 60. All right, put this in your calculator. And our answer is minus 57 comma 64 mega pascals. So our stress xy, so our stress, our shear stress xy minus 57 comma 64 times 10 to the 6. Now our resultant stress will be quite simple to do now. Our resultant stress is our 
resultant is Pythagoras' theorem. Stress of x1 plus ta x1. Both squared. So, we have the root minus 25,18 squared plus minus 57,64 squared. Our answer is equal to 62,9 mega pascals. And that is our resultant stress. If we turn this 30 degrees clockwise, so we turn it this way, this will be our resultant stress in the whole thing. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm and to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please let me know. Please use the comments section to let me know what topics you would like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.